Today, we will be looking at Workplace. It is a website and an app created by Facebook to help large groups or business organizations communicate and create online communities. In Horry County Schools, we have started this tool as a way to connect teachers and provide an in-house place for sharing ideas and resources across our district. To get started, go to www.facebook.com workplace. Once you are here, you will need to first set up your account. Please make sure that you use your Horry County Schools email so that you are associated with our organization and it will connect you to our groups. The very first time you do this, it will send you, your, you an email with a temporary code to verify your account. Then once you are logged in, it will prompt you to join several groups that it suggests to you from our organization. Once you get past that, you will get to the, a landing page very similar to this. You can also see that it is very similar to Facebook. On the left, you will see any of those groups that you chose to be a part of or join. Below here is an explore section where you can find other groups, you can create your own groups, you can also add people or suggest people to join Workplace with you. Groups can be managed by anyone in our organization and groups can be created for any target group of people or target topic. Another great feature is the ability to search for groups or people at the top of the page here. Some groups may be closed but you can and require request for approval but you can always request um, to join those groups. Certain groups require an admin to approve you and other groups allow members to approve you right away. Simply typing in this box will pull up suggestions for you. You can then request those groups or if you're already part of them, join them. You can scan the page to see what you are looking for. You can also see members, photos, um, and post for that group. Here you can add members to this group or suggest for people to join it. To get back home, always hit the W in the top left. In the center of this page, you will see your news feed. Again, this is very similar to Facebook. Here you will see posts by people you have connected to or groups that you are part of. If you want to post to a group, simply select that group and at the top and then you can make your post. You will see different types of things you can add on such as locations, photos, videos, activity, you can tag people. Um, another really great feature are some formatting features that are embedded within this so you can make really captivating posts. You can use um, headings that will automatically change the size, font, you can add bullets, and so forth. A really great feature that I love in here is the ability to add links. Instead of putting the whole URL for a website in here, which can sometimes look sloppy and overwhelming, you can type your text, select your text, and then you can add in your link to create a hyperlink much like we do in documents or websites often. So here I just type in or paste my whole link and now people can click on that to access it much more easily. Another great ability is to add in files or links from Google Docs if you want to share a resource beyond just websites. This is a great place for you to share artifacts from your classroom, whether it's photos, videos, or lesson plans, any professional resources that you found helpful, such as blog posts or online teaching resources. And you can even use this as a place to post questions or topics for discussion. Once posts are made, I'm gonna delete this one, but once posts are made, you will see the ability to like, much less like Facebook again, or you can add comments um, to keep the discussion going. So in addition, you will see some other familiar pieces, pieces similar to Facebook or other social media websites. So up at the top, you have a place for your notifications. 
So if you have started a thread or commented on one, you can kind of follow that conversation. You will also see an inbox where people can message you directly. This is great if you see someone else posting about something you want to know more about. And you have some other like features at the side, such as trending post it, posts or suggested groups um, that will kind of live here and change periodically based off of your activity. So I hope that you have enjoyed this quick tutorial of Workplace and you will join um, today and start pr participating in some new professional learning communities. As always, thank you for watching this tutorial with us. We hope that you will join Workplace today and start participating in some of our groups. Please be sure to also subscribe, like, and follow us by clicking on the links below in the description. Don't forget to leave us comments. We'd love to hear your feedback.